Hello friends, today we are going to paint a sweet little painting. I've already started it and I'm using the color Macaroon, French Macaroon from Paint Pixie. I've added several colors to this so I will be using them throughout and I probably won't tell you what colors they are because I've just used several different ones and I can't remember the name of all of them without looking and I know I won't get it there in time. Anyway, we're just adding all the different colors in here. It takes several, several layers of colors to paint these paintings. I hand drew this on the canvas and then I'm going back and painting it on. You wanna go brown, or not brown, but dark in your little uh, crevices of the pumpkin and you wanna do light at the top and a darker color at the bottom. So I'm just adding all the colors, mixing up some oranges here. We're gonna do a background. I should have painted my background first, but I already had the pumpkin drew on. So I decided to come in and do my uh, background last. And I decided to do a blue pumpkin and an orange background, go figure. It could have been just the opposite. It would have been just as pretty, but I like the blue pumpkins. So I'm just gonna kinda get this painted on here. And you'll be able to see a little later on, I add some yellow to this to kinda make the background look a little, um, to give it more of dimension. Two colors always helps. The browns that I'm putting on my uh, stem, I've used two different color browns. The colors I do not remember. And we're just gonna go in and put our little curly cues. I had so much doing this, fun doing this painting, you guys. Normally, if I don't do it live, I will try to do some kind of video or something. There's the yellow we're pushing into the background. That will give it some dimension and just help it to look a little more real because there's nothing in life that's just one color. I think this is so pretty though. I'm loving the blue pumpkin. So I'm going around those edges again, just trying to tone this down a little bit. I feel like I got a little too much dark blue in there. And then here in a minute, I'm gonna go down through there and add some lighter colors at the top and darker at the bottom once again. We're gonna add some oranges into the pumpkin and some reds because you, like I said, you guys, they're not, not all just one color and that will help give it a little bit of dimension. Like I said, I'm going around the pumpkin with the blackberry cobbler or blueberry cobbler. I'm sorry, blueberry cobbler. And um, just making a thin line around that to make the pumpkin pop off the page. And then I'm gonna go down through each one of the crevices with it. This is a really fun little painting. Going around the stem with the brown. And then I decided to go around the edges with, this is the light blue color, the uh, French macaroon. And then I decided it was too light, so I started adding a dark blue to it. And you'll see that here in just a minute. I'll start adding that in. I let some of the French macaroon show through. And then I added some white to it also because that just didn't seem like it was popping off the page enough for me. So I just, I played around with it until I felt like I got it right. Put my initials on here and then I go back and I put the white in because it just felt better with the white. It kind of brings it off the page better. Sorry about all the background noise, you guys. Mr. Beck was going outside and a dog outside is barking. But there we go, you guys. Look how much better that white makes that pop. I love it. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I thank you so much for hanging out with us. And if you do not follow Rekindle Blessings, come hang out with us, you guys, and become part of our family. Thank you, and have a great day.